What is going on, everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And today I just really wanted to share something that could really be beneficial for um, a lot of people. Um, but more specifically, what came to mind were, uh, were independent contractors um, of, of any kind. And I just recently had an, a reason to go to this site to create a receipt um long story short i lost the receipt i could not retrieve this receipt whatsoever and as long as this um as long as these websites are used in the appropriate fashion there's absolutely nothing wrong with with doing that so if you're a contractor or whatever the case may be you purchase something and you know you have the receipt and whatnot maybe you paid cash for it and the thing you know whatever it was cost a couple hundred dollars and then you've lost that receipt you know that you would use towards your expenses so obviously when you're a contractor you have to have you know a little you have to have you know a paper trail of some sort and that obviously includes expenses just in case so what I'm just all I'm doing is I'm showing you two sites and where you can actually make your own receipts and print them out as you please. So the first one we're looking at right now is called expensesreceipt.com. Now all of this is extremely simple. You can also do this from your smartphone as well. I have done it from there. It's just way easier to do on the computer. Uh, and you don't have to make an account for either one of these websites. So you would just go from this one, expensesreceipt.com, uh, click me to choose the receipt template. And then whatever it is, you know, you get as close as possible to the store that you were using or basically, you know, whatever would look as close as possible. So they do have invoices like this that you see that you can use. Um, I mean, these are, this is the hotel section, but let's say for instance, you went to, um, you went to Target or, uh, or Walmart. Um, now I personally looked at, I went through all of them. And I saw the drug slash pharmacy one and felt that this was pretty much as close as we could get. And it, it shows everything. I mean, like, yeah, there might, there's obviously going to be things on there that aren't going to be accurate, like the, the cashier or, you know, the, you know, you might not have the exact time and all that good stuff, but what you absolutely need, you can put in this receipt fashion. So all you do is obviously just pick whatever uh, template that you want. So let's just try CVB pharmacy right here. Okay. And this is very simple. So you obviously will get a preview on the right hand side, which is very easy. Um, so let's go to, let's hit default settings. Okay, that's good. So the first thing we wanna, we wanna try and do is get a logo. Now let's just say that it is Target. Okay, just go to Google, type in uh, the Walmart or whatever it is, Walmart or Target, type in Walmart or Target logo. Okay, so from here, all we're doing is trying to find the logo so we can put it on the receipt. So, and like I said, if you're using it appropriately, you know, there, there's nothing there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with doing this. So just use it appropriately. You'll be perfectly fine. So let's see here. That's a pretty big size, but we want, let's see here. But all you're going to do is click, you're going to right click on it and then save the image as, and then wherever that image goes is where you're going to upload it from, obviously. So let's go back here. Let's go to upload logo. And let's click on target logo. And there you go. You see on the right hand side that we have the target there. We don't need to have the pharmacy that I mean, that 
the target is <laughs> it's like we don't need the business name it's already in the icon in the picture so we can you know try do our best to get to the date that we purchased it the time that we purchased it you know obviously there's you know you can align it however you want you can bold things as you please whatever is easiest um, obviously you can type in the address whatever it is you know you can see it all on the right hand side you know one two three you know main street okay cool easy and then obviously just continue to fill out the information as accurately as you can obviously a typical google search will do the rest you know where you can find all the information to that specific store that you found that, that you went to to purchase the item and then from here so we go down items and taxes so we can actually leave we can leave this alone i mean we can play with the font size as needed we can bold it um you know we can make it uh, italicized whatever we want to do and now from here we can do two we can this is our quantity we can do two and this is just something i was just playing with or looking up earlier but they at least it's popping up in here so um and let's just put in Let's put in the price. So they are each. Okay, here's our price. Okay, let's say seven dollars. Uh, what exactly is that? Okay, we can leave that alone. Leave that unchecked. And then whatever, you know, whatever city or state you're in, put the tax percent. Let's just say it's six, six percent. Sure. Okay, six percent sales tax, and then. You know at the bottom you can either you can leave the display you can get rid of it you know whatever you want to do and the other cool thing is you can generate a barcode which is really which is <laughs> it's it's so simple and all you have to do i mean i've as a when i was um working with my previous company i was um you know i was actually cop scanning receipts and so forth to make sure I had a backup of a backup. So it was perfectly fine and legitimate to have receipts that were printed on paper. And obviously you can get a receipt through email and print it that way as well. So there really aren't any issues here as long as you are using it appropriately. That's all. So this is all just, you know, this is just an example of what it will look like. And when it comes out, when you do print it, it actually looks pretty damn good. Just be careful of the actual size here. So we could just put in, um, you know, like DeWalt, say, you, say you're a contractor, whatever, DeWalt drill or De DeWalt uh, screw gun and so forth. And obviously that would be a big purchase. You know, it'd be, we'll say like 299 99 now obviously you you cannot use this at the store you can't bring this to us you can't use any of this at a store whatsoever it's only just for your personal um your personal records only so and okay so it says we bought three dewalt screw guns you know at the six percent sales tax and there's our total we have a barcode and we're all good to go. And so very, very simple. And then from here, you can download the receipt, uh, email, copy, or whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do is just download the receipt. And this is it right here. There's our receipt. Oh, so let's, let's move over here. So excuse me. There's going to be new share. So this is what it looks like right here. So, and when it comes, when you actually print it out, it will actually, and you can obviously edit the date and the time. I believe I said that, but everything. And the one really, really cool thing as well is you can put in whatever payment method, but when it's printed out, it looks perfectly fine. It looks great. So let's share to, let's go back to the site. 
and just so we didn't skip anything. So you, you your um your payment method can be whatever you want, Visa, Cash, Amex, but let's say you did use an actual Visa card and you wanted to use the numbers that you had on the card. These are not my numbers. I was just playing around earlier. <laughs> but so yeah, Visa and then the numbers. Um, you know, any form of payment that you're using that you used at the time. So um yeah, it's um it's very, very simple. And it's definitely a lifesaver if you did spend um you know, if you did spend a decent amount on something that you needed for whatever as a contractor and you needed, you know, like me, I'm organized. I try to be organized. So I like to keep all of my receipts, you know, the paper receipts, just in case if anything happens, just in case. So, but that's it, man. Uh, <laughs> Expensesreceipt.com. Just, you don't have to make an account. If you do make an account, I believe you may have access to more templates and so forth, but you don't really need to. So you can even change who helped you too. It says a uh, rebort, you know, I'm sure that means uh, Robert. So help I, whatever, change the name. That's the cashier number, whatever, transaction number, register, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So, um, and then just to, I'm not gonna do it on this one but just to at least show you. Now, this is called ReceiptWriter.com. Now, don't let this name here um, discourage you. We're not, we're not here to make fake receipts. That's not why we're here at all. All we're here to do is, tr uh, to, is try and retrieve a receipt that we lost, that we, we've gone through the other methods of trying to retrieve the receipt, and we can't. So we have to create one that we actually did, you know, um, you know, to the best of our ability, the day and the time and store that we purchased it from and as close as possible to what it cost. So, and so in here they have all kinds of different, different templates and gas is a big one too, because you could, um, you know, especially if you're like a Lyft driver or Uber driver, um, and you're keeping your gas receipts, and let's say you paid it in cash, then um, you know you're going to obviously want that. Um, you want to keep that receipt, obviously. So you can you can get it if you use your card and so forth, but it's just easier this way. Um, so whatever you know, pick whatever template's easier for you. Well. It's, it's, they're going to the right, the same spot anyway. So, uh, they just look different. That's all. Okay. No big deal. But so it's expensesreceipt.com or receiptwriter.com. Uh, they're basically identical and you can go in, you can change the picture, um, put the, put the price to what you did purchase. Um, you know, the date and all of that to the best of your ability and to the best of your ability from what you can remember using your actual, you know, if it is the last four numbers of your card, you know, go for it. If you don't remember, just say cash. So, but <laughs> once again, this is only to be used um, appropriately. That is all I have to say about that. It is an excellent resource, um, but just don't abuse it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll put the links in the description. See you in the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please, if this video helped you out whatsoever, turn on the bell and you'll see some more interesting videos down the line. All right, guys.